so let's go through this mutual agency you know in detail as i said mutual agency is the cardinal principle or the two test of uh, true test of partnership now as per mutual agency as i've told you partner is both principal as well as agent of other partners he is not you know merely an agent but he is an agent as well as the principal of other partners and you know because of this feature partner has the capacity to bind the other partners by his acts whatever he you know does in the name of the firm all the partners get bound by it but such acts only have to be in relation to the business now this is very important you know if one partner you know marries his daughter off now it is his personal life the other partners do not get bound by this act you know tomorrow uh, if uh, there is a divorce between you know his daughter and you know his uh, son in law and you know there are litigations so the other partners do not get bound by such litigations i mean you don't marry your daughter because of your business it is not a part of your business it's your personal life so all the acts which are done for the business will bind the other partners now what are such acts such acts may be you know purchases sales you know accounting you know, taking loans giving loans making payments receiving payments so these are the normal you know acts which we do in the normal course of business so all such acts which are done for the business will bind the other partners you know domestic or personal or social or religious acts which are done by a partner will not bind the other partners now after understanding the features let us take a look at the answers that we have given to the examples that we had laid down now are our answers correct were we able to know if you know a particular example is a is an is an example of partnership or not but now we should be able to answer even if we were wrong now we should be able to answer let's check 